Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So this is our part 2 discussion on Snowflake code procedure parallel execution with SQL queries only. Like here multiple stored procedures if you have to execute in Snowflake parallelly then already I have discussed Python based approach. You can check the link given in the description box. But suppose the requirement is you have to execute multiple stored procedures parallelly only using Snowflake SQL queries. Then how to do that? That's what I started discussion in my previous video okay so i will request you to go through my part one discussion on snowflake stored procedure parallel execution using sql query because those concepts will surely help you to understand today's discussion in a much better way okay so without any further delay let us directly jump into the, the actual discussion okay so just a quick recap that is we are having a parent task the parent task will do some dummy activity like select current date or select current timestamp etc okay so this parent task will be serialing with one minute interval or so and then under the parent task we will create as many child tasks as required okay suppose i need to execute 10 snowflake stored procedures parallelly so for each snowflake stored procedures we will create separate separate tasks and these tasks creation should be also dynamic that i will show you no worries how to do that and then we will resume all these child tasks okay but parent task we have not resumed yet so obviously the child task cannot run because they are dependent on parent task right now once all the child tasks are in resumed state we will basically make our parent task resume from suspended state okay and now based on serial time after one minute for the first time the parent task will start and once the parent task runs successfully all the child tasks will start parallelly because they are at the same level okay and we have to also make sure one thing that once the parent task runs one time then we need to suspend this parent task otherwise after one minute again this parent task will be triggered and it will trigger all this n number of sort procedures parallelly due to the child task dependency okay so the architecture should run only once we will create parent task we will not resume that then we will create all the child task we will set up the dependency properly we will resume all the child task then we will resume our parent task and we will pull and make sure that parent task is executed only once and then we will suspend the parent task okay and in the middle as soon as parent task will be successful when actually it is in a resumed state then automatically after successful completion of the parent task all the child task will be triggered in the back end so those will be running parallelly right that's what the architecture and now only trick was how to make sure that one particular scheduled task is running only once not more than once okay as soon as it run one time we need to suspend that task how to do this kind of activity that i have already discussed in my previous video i hope if you go through that video you will have a clear idea right now without any further delay let's complete the rest part so here first what i am doing i am dropping the database lamu creating the fresh database and using that just to show you a fresh demo i am just creating the database and then here i am creating a table where multiple stored procedures parallelly will make some insert okay but using this particular architecture actually you can do any stored procedure parallel run it should not be what i am showing that only it can do it can do anything the n number of stored procedures you can basically execute parallelly that is not a problem okay so here what I am doing, I am creating a table having the name video demo, which is having the column like ID name and create date. Okay, I will execute this. And then here I am creating some dummy stored procedures, which I will run parallelly. Like first stored procedure name is dummy executor one. Okay, what it is doing, it is making an insert query in our table, what just now we created that is insert into video demo. And here only in two columns, it is entering name and create date. Name it is putting from SP1, that is from stored procedure 1 because here you can see the stored procedure name is 1 so I have given such name and then here in the second column that is create date I am putting current timestamp okay so using this particular column we can see that when different stored procedures has executed this insert query and ideally their insert timing should be almost same or very close to each other that's how we can understand all are executed parallelly right so here I will create this particular procedure then here there is another procedure demo executor 2 where I just changed the name that is here I am inserting the value as from sp2 and rest part is same so I will just enter that and then for this third stored procedure from sp3 I will just execute that and here for demo executor 4 here I have written from sp4 I will just execute that 
for this particular fifth one here from sp5 okay and there is another one having the name demo executor 0 there i am giving the value from sp0 in the insert query okay so totally we have created six stored procedures demo executor 0 demo executor 1 like that so on up to demo executor 5 okay now suppose the requirement is all this should be executed parallelly so what we can do this is our main stored procedure which will create the parent task then it will create all the child task it will resume all the child task and then it will resume the parent task and it will make sure the parent task is triggered only one time and then it will suspend the parent task okay all this activity will be done by this particular procedure demo executor parallel so here language javascript executor scholar and returning string okay so this particular function what it is doing it is just we are using for some sleep or some delay okay which i already discussed in my previous video same function i am using here now here i am taking the current time okay because this is required for stopping our parent stroke procedure based on my previous videos logic and then here what we are doing here we are creating our parent stroke procedure okay the parent stroke procedure having the name multi-thread parent 122 okay here we are mentioning the warehouse schedule time one minute we are keeping and here some dummy activity we are doing like select current date okay and here we are creating the snowflake task right so here task is created now here what we will do we will create all the child tasks so this is our parent task now these are our child tasks so where temp equal to true and while temp less than equal to 5 each time in the iteration what i am doing create or replace task multi thread child 1 2 3 4 and then here I am giving the temp variable. So each time the child task will be having different different name. Here we are mentioning the warehouse. And after the parent task execution, then only this child task should be executed. Okay. So like that after clause I am using to set up the dependency as call ramu.public.demo executor underscore temp. So first temp will be zero. So it will call the demo executor zero. Then demo executor one. Then demo executor two. Like that. Different different multi-thread child task will execute different different scope procedure. Okay. And totally this iteration will happen six times as we have seen that we have set up the temp variable as five which is starting from zero so it will go to five okay and then here what we are doing we are resuming all the child tasks right and here we are increasing the temp variable so like this way using this file loop all the child tasks will be dated and each of the child tasks will be getting the responsibility to execute different different stored procedures okay now here what we are doing here we are resuming our parent task because once we resume our parent task then it will wait for one minute because after one minute we have scheduled our parent task so it will execute once it executes successfully then our child task will be executed okay and by that time we have to make sure the parent task we are suspending also otherwise again it will be executing and it will trigger all the child task and eventually all the stop procedures will be triggered again that we don't want right so here what we are doing once our all the child tasks created and resumed we are finally resuming our parent task okay and then here this while loop we are making just to check whether parent task is executed for the first time or not what is the logic already i discussed i am not going through details again okay now as soon as the parent task is executed so obviously child task will be triggered in the back end automatically right because in the child task we have set up the dependency that the child task should run after the parent task runs successfully okay so child task all these stored procedures will be starting parallel in the backend and by that time i need to suspend the parent task okay so alter task multi thread parent suspending okay and then here we are returning success so i hope you understood what the stored procedure is doing it is creating the parent task it is creating all the child task and it is tagging different different stored procedures with individual child tasks and then it is resuming all the child tasks then it is resuming the parent task then it is checking whether parent task is completed at least once or not. If it is completed, it is suspending the parent task. Okay, right? That's the beauty. And here also, the sleep 90,000 or sleep 90 second we have kept. Already I discussed why it is required. Apart from that, another importance here, what you can see, like at t, if you are resuming our parent task, so at t plus 60 second, first time our parent task will be triggered. Okay. So then and there, if we are suspending our parent task, might be child task is not getting the time to be getting triggered. Okay. So we are having some delay. We are giving 30 more second time. And after T plus 90, we are checking whether parent task ran at least once or not. Okay. That way in the back end, child task also will be getting some time to trigger as well as it will be updating in the information schema also. Right. 
all things will happen within this 30 seconds. Snowflake is pretty fast, right? Now here, what I will do, I will basically just create this particular stored procedure, and then here I will show you currently our this particular video demo is empty. I will start my stored procedure. Okay, so it is executing. I will open a new worksheet, and here what I will do first, I will use this particular Lamu database, and here I will execute show task. Okay, if I do show task here, you can see. Automatically, all the tasks are created. One, two, three, four, zero, four, one, four, two, four, three, four, 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 five. So these are the child tasks. What our stored procedure automatically created, and this is the parent task. Okay. If you scroll right here, you will see that here only the parent task is scheduled because child task you cannot basically schedule. You can just set up the dependency, and here you can see that child tasks all are dependent on the parent task. Like here, you can see predecessor. You can see all these are dependent on parent task, right? Okay, cool. Now what will happen? Our parent task will eventually start one time after one minute. Okay, so I will run this particular query and I will see whether our parent task is started or not. So parent task is not even executed. So we have to wait a little bit here in this worksheet. You can see this query is still running. It will run. It will wait until the parent task is executed at least once, and then basically in the back end automatically all the child tasks will be triggered. Then it is asking the parent task. Okay, so let's just wait and see whether parent task is executed at least one time or not. Okay, so I might be pausing the video here and I will start again when the parent task will be executed at least once. And here you can see, you can see let's start from video currently. No data is there. Okay, so here you can see our parent task is executed and soon our this particular stored procedure also should stop. Okay, at any time it will just have a success. Okay, right. So let's just see, and let me show you the data in this particular table. Okay, currently it is empty because actually in the back end the child task are triggered asynchronously, so you might expect little delay. Okay, that is fine. By that time here you can see in this particular side the stored procedure execution is successful. So if I just show you using show task here currently, here you will see that the parent task is suspended. If the parent task is suspended, child task will automatically not run. Even you can do some cleanup activity. That is, once the parent task is suspended, then you can delete all the child task whatever is created dynamically just to execute different stored procedures. So obviously you can do those kind of advancement. But uh, just let's see whether now data came or not. So we have to wait a little bit. Okay. Even you can see whether any child task is executed at least once or not. So like if I just do show task. And here is the one multi-thread child task which was created dynamically. So if I just do select star, let's see whether any child task executed or not at least once. So here you can see it was executed actually. So soon we should see the data in our table. So see here yeah, all the data came and see for their created time. Okay, all are at September seventeen and one one. That is one a.m. one minute. See, for all of them, the time is same. That means what? That means all these stored procedures are executed almost nearly at the same time. Okay, and using this particular technique, you can basically execute multiple stored procedures, n number of stored procedures parallelly in Snowflake only using a SQL query. You don't need any Python. And from the create date itself, you can understand all those are executed parallelly. Right? That's the beauty of this particular stored procedure. I hope you understood this. This is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.